have all you heard about video editing with a lie. You don't need After Effects to create high quality edits, and just to prove it, I rebuilt After Effects style effects only inside CapCut. And here's the wild part some of these are actually easier in CapCut than in After Effects. So, before you waste another six months learning new software, let me show you how to do all of this inside CapCut. I'm sitting in my timeline, CapCut open, and I'm looking at these layers, thinking. Most editors only use about 30% of what this software actually can do. My name is Patrick K and I edited over 1000 plus videos in the last year. And here's the thing nobody wants to say loud. Editors don't fail because they use CapCut. They fail because they don't know how to push it to full limits. Today, I'm breaking down the exact editing advanced techniques that make CapCut edits look like they were made inside After Effects. Let's break CapCut open. Alright, this liquid reveal effect is just the beginning. And yes, this is all done inside. CapCut. Let's start by building our background. Add a text layer and set it to 10 seconds. Remove the text, max the font size, scroll down to background and choose your first color. Then create a compound clip. Now duplicate this layer, double click it, change the color to something darker and now go to video, mask and select circle mask. Click reverse and adjust the mask like this. Add a text layer and type anything you like. Pick your font, set the size, go to color and pick a green. Scroll down, add a blue stroke and set it to 8. Now create a compound clip with the text layer and your background. Next, let's build the filler waves. Add a text layer, remove the text, max the font size again, scroll down to background and select your fill color. In my case, I use baby blue. Create a compound clip, go to mask, select pen tool and start drawing waves like these. Make sure the mask connects all the way through. You can adjust this later. Once you have your waves, select your text compound clip, go to video and remove background. Use chroma key to remove the green and keep only the stroke. Now place your waves on layer number one and drag them up like this. You can adjust the wave shape if needed. Set the keyframe at the beginning of your clip, turn on a uniform scale, move a few frames forward and drag the waves to the right. Add another keyframe and keep stretching them using scale width. When you are happy with the movement, duplicate the waves, double click, change the color to darker blue and create a gradient. Now go to mask, film strip, shape it exactly like this and adjust the feathering. Now go to effects, search for blur, add it to both layers and adjust the setting up to your preferences. And then add a glow one more time to this bottom layer, the one with the green fill. The first time I made this, I literally pushed my chair. No way, you cannot do this in CapCut. Did you expect this in CapCut? Oh wow, that was cool. So yeah, this was my honest reaction after I found a way how to actually build this type of animation. But let me show you how to turn any text or icon into 3D. Once you have your clip on the timeline, add a default text layer. Type anything you like. Choose your color and position it where you want. Now go to animations and select combo. And now look for flip 6. Move the playhead to the angle you like and then create a compound clip because without it, you wouldn't be able to freeze it out. And now go to this section and freeze your clip. Once you have your angled text, you can go to blend mode and pick whichever look you prefer. I used soft light and that's it. It was that easy. And I'm sure you've definitely seen these blur shakes transitions, especially in Iman's videos. In the timeline, all you do is to notch the motion, add a little bit of blur and finish up with a small shake. And suddenly this looks so cinematic. And here's how to make it. Add a keyframe at the beginning of your clip at 100. Go 20 frames forward and increase the size. Show variable speed animation and set auto curve on each keyframe. And then drag this blue line exactly like this. Now you can just close it, go to effects, search for blur and shake. Drag them to your clip, add a keyframe for a blur at the zero and go five frames forward. That means hit right arrow on your keyboard five times. Once you did, set another keyframe and set it around 40. Then another five frames forward and back to zero. Do the same for the shake. And don't forget to match these keyframes to the fastest part of the zoom movement. To create a unique style, you can offset them slightly. Now, for the side slide zoom and blur, add a keyframe at the zero, activate keyframe at the position where you want your movement to start 
and then go 30 frames forward. Drag this clip to the right, now open variable speed animations and set auto curve on both keyframes. Now adjust this blue line to make this smooth movement. And then simply just add your pre-made blur and shake effects and offset them like this to finish the transition. But this reveal effect, it looks so complex, but it's actually stupid simple. And I remember thinking, why this looks so damn good? I only clicked few buttons. Let's build background first. Add a text layer and set it on duration 10 seconds. Remove the text, press space on your keyboard and max the font size. Scroll down to background and pick your first color. Then create a compound clip, duplicate this layer, double click it, change the color to darker blue. Now go to mask, circle and click reverse and adjust the size and feather. When you are happy with the results, select both layers and create another compound clip. Now add a text layer, set it to 10 seconds, type any text you like, pick your font and color and now Duplicate the text layer and create a compound clip. From that duplicate. Select the duplicate background, go to mask and select circle. Place it at the beginning, turn on keyframes on position, set feather to around 20 and move the circle up and down every 20 or 30 frames. Keep adjusting the circle size and continue until the end of the clip. Before the clip ends, stretch the mask vertically to reveal the full text. Now right click this layer Choose Show Variable Speed Animations, select all keyframes and apply Cubic Ease. Hide the curves and add a default text. Remove the text, max the font size again, choose your color, duplicate it, double click it, change it to darker blue and add a split mask. Bring it up like this, adjust the feather and then create a compound clip from both of these layers. Add a circle mask, make a small circle, activate keyframes on position and size at the start. Go 10 to 30 frames forward using shift plus right arrow and keep moving the circle as the text reveals. Once you are at the end, open show variable speed animations again, apply cubic ease, smooth out the blue line exactly like this and then create a compound clip. Search for glow to and apply it over. Then look for effect play pendulum and apply this to circle element and add a blur to text. Okay, and now back to premium text. I take this basic flat text and here's how to make it sharp, dimensional, then just finish it with this smooth style shine animation. And to make this text pop even more, let's create a custom vignette effect. This takes less than five seconds and it gives the entire frame way more depth. To make this text pop even more, let me show you a five second upgrade. Add a default text layer, remove the text, max the font size, scroll down, choose black background and create a compound clip. Now go to video, mask and select split mask. Drag it exactly like this and apply feather. Make sure to set it to layer number one. Now let's turn this into premium look. Select your first color layer, duplicate, pick your second color and create a compound clip for each separately. Now go to video, mask, split mask and adjust the feather. Duplicate one more time, change the white, apply mask and select film strip. Now make it a little bit smaller and position it exactly like this. Now play with the feather. Now activate keyframe on transform where you want your movement to start and move couple frames forward and add another keyframe and drag this film strip mask like this. Now you can open variable speed animations and set auto curve on each keyframe. Wow, this is instant high-end look. That was a text. Now let's talk about shapes. I take this boring rectangle, change the colors, add a clean mask, and suddenly this looks like an After Effects composition. Let's start by building our base. Again, add a default text layer and choose your first color. Now create a compound clip. Duplicate this layer, double click it, and change this to darker color. Now you can go back to video and mask. Select circle. Play with the position until you have your final result. Now select both of these layers and create a compound clip together. Add another text layer, remove the text, pick next shape color, create a compound clip, go to video mask and select circle. And don't forget to round the corners. Now create a duplicate, change color to darker blue, create a compound clip, go to mask and circle again. And repeat this to build this gradient effect in left and upper corner. Let's duplicate this base again, change to lighter blue, set it to layer number one, go to video mask and select split mask. Now increase mask size to create a stroke effect. Now let's create a compound clip one more time and make sure to set it on layer number one. Now let's add a split mask keyframe, go to mask and select split mask and set keyframe at the beginning of your clip and set feather on 50. Now go couple frames forward and set rotation on 700. Now you're almost done. So just select any icon you like. By the way, you can get all the assets, icons and everything under the link in the description. 
but once you have your icons, place your icon in the center and you can search for effect play pendulum. Now adjust the setting like this and select everything to create a final compound clip. If you tried CapCut built-in text animation, you already know they are pretty mid. So let me show you how to actually animate text manually and take a full control using keyframes. Add a text layer type, any text you like. Select your font and go to animation and select blur. Now create a compound clip and set a keyframe on a transform at the beginning of your clip and bring it down like this. Now go couple frames forward and bring it back up and create a keyframe with text in the middle. Now open show variable speed animation and set auto curve on each keyframe. Then select this blue line and drag it exactly like this for this premium movement. Now let's animate it out. Just go couple frames forward and set another keyframe and drag this text out of the screen in any direction you like. In my case, I'm going to left. Show variable speed animations again and do the same thing like we did earlier. Add an auto curve on each keyframe and adjust this blue line and you are all set. My friend messaged me yesterday like, this is not CapCut and I sent him a screenshot. Wait for my next video because this one breaks down 10 effects that 99% of editors never even touch. I see you there.